Street Easy is partnering with local mortgage expert Melissa Cohn to answer some commonly asked financing questions. In this video, Melissa offers advice for prospective buyers. How does being self-employed affect a buyer's loan application? If you're self-employed, the banks want to see that you've been self-employed for at least two years and that you filed two years worth of tax returns showing your self-employment income. Um, as a self-employed person, many people take deductions that someone who's salaried cannot take and oftentimes show less in terms of their adjusted gross income than what they actually earn. Um, banks don't really care about that. They want to see that you show enough adjusted gross income to qualify for the financing as though you were salaried. Also, if your income is lower in the most recent year than it was the year before, they're going to use just that lower number in terms of qualifying. Um, the good news is that if your income is actually going up, the banks will average the two years and you'll get credit. You won't get credit for your total 2011 income, but you'll certainly get credit for you know, the average between 2010 and 2011. So that you know, what we're finding with many self-employed is that they've taken advantage of the deductions that the IRS allows, and it's sort of a double-edged sword. You, know, you pay less in taxes, but you're going to qualify for less in a mortgage. There are a couple of banks that will do no income verification financing, but those rates can be a full percentage point higher, and many of them will demand that you put anywhere from 35 to 50 percent down.